This episode begins with the leader of the hooligans arriving at a park bustling with festival goers. Confused about why Kirishima directed them to this location, the leader instructs his crew to split into two groups and search the park. Meanwhile, Yoshino arrives, using her phone to stay discreet. It is revealed that Kirishima had invited her to watch him in action, but asked her to stay hidden. The lover boy had anticipated their attackers would need to split up to find him, providing the perfect opportunity to launch his operation. Yoshino soon spots Ozu desperately trying to contact the hooligan's leader. She tears her expensive skirt to chase after him. Elsewhere, the gang's lieutenant orders some underlings to search the side paths, only for them to be ambushed by Kirishima. Demonstrating his combat skills, Kirishima swiftly knocks one out and holds another at knife point after disarming him. He demands answers and forces the captive to call his superior with a fabricated story. However, the lieutenant quickly realizes the trap. Kirishima's demands include bringing Ozu and the leader, Nalia, to a specific location. Before ending the call, Kirishima expresses frustration, questioning their hostility after allowing them to operate post-Shori incident. Unable to reach Nalia, the group's efforts to regroup are stalled. Kirishima knocks out his hostage and heads for the van supplying the festival's temporary lighting. There, he neutralizes the guards overseeing it. During this time, Yoshino observes Nalia dragging Ozu, who is scolding him for falling into an obvious trap. Despite Ozu's warnings about Azami a dangerous figure who operates behind the scenes, Nalia dismisses him. Ozu explains how Azami once helped him against extortionists, making his harassers disappear, only to later request assistance in targeting Kirishima. Nalia brushes off these warnings, mocking Azami as an overly cautious individual who wears a nose mask out of fear of illness. As Nalia continues berating Ozu, he knocks him unconscious with a headbutt. Hearing a noise from the bushes, he assumes Kirishima is spying on them. However, Yoshino steps out, armed with a branch, unafraid of Nalia's threats. She taunts him, stating that her death would mean nothing to Kirishima, and could even please him. She highlights his vulnerability, emphasizing how quickly she located him. Enraged, Nalia draws a knife, but the festival lights cut out, giving Yoshino an opportunity to strike. Unfortunately, the branch she uses crumbles on impact. Nalia retaliates, landing a punch that knocks her to the ground. Feigning Kirishima's presence behind him, Yoshino buys herself time as Nalia turns around. In the darkness, Kirishima uses stealth to eliminate his enemies one by one, leaving only the lieutenant and a few others standing. Asami arrives, incapacitating the lieutenant with a taser. Kirishima quickly deduces that Azami, the masked figure, is the mastermind behind the harassment. However, Azami appears uninterested in Kirishima, and instead inquires about Yoshino's whereabouts. Kirishima, confused, tries to downplay her importance, but Azami insists he has business with her. This triggers Kirishima, leading to a heated exchange. After an intense fight, Kirishima recognizes Azami when his mask is knocked off, though he notes that Azami's appearance has changed. The brawl ends with Azami grabbing his mask and retreating, stating that Yoshino wasn't the real target, and hinting at a larger scheme. He also asks Kirishima to extend his regards to her. Meanwhile, Yoshino escapes Nalia by crashing a rental bike into him and tasering him. Back in town, Shoma and Noodle-kun's fight spills onto the streets. Noodle-kun receives a message and retreats, warning Shoma about the turbulent internal conflicts brewing within the Yakuza. He advises Shoma to leave the organization while he still can. As the commotion settles, Yoshino reunites with Kirishima and Ozu. 